I mean, have you run into this yet? I'm sure you have. The 55-year-old client who's done everything they thought they were going to do. It's a couple times a month I get an email out of the blue from some master of the universe that sold a business, lives in Park City now, wants to meet at the coffee shop. I actually know what's going to happen in this meeting. They're going to say, I sold a business. I thought I'd be happy being a ski patrol or volunteering at the kid's school. I don't know what I'm going to do. Or it's very similar to, is this all, it's, is this all there is? Like that meeting. That's why we call it a midlife crisis, where, because there's so many people who wake up and go, really? Is this? And so they often say, I don't have anything else. I don't know what else to do. Well, this process is the same process, right? Like, okay, let's get a sense of where we are. How do you figure out what you want to do if you're a master of the universe? None of them will admit it to you in the first meeting because they've just got their arms crossed and they're super, super smart. They're masters of the universe after all. But th what they're thinking is, I don't have anything else. I may not have a relationship with my spouse or my kids because I've been working so much. I don't have any hobbies. Okay, well, how do you decide? This came up yesterday in a meeting. How do you find one? If I don't know what my purpose is, how do I? My purpose has been removed. I just had this meeting Friday in the exact same coffee shop that I've had this meeting like a hundred times. And the, the person there had launched a, a super successful venture capitalist, launched his fourth fund. The fund did better than they ever expected, but the thesis around how they were operating, it didn't really work the way they thought. So they, they're just going to wrap up the fund and he's done. But he had spent like 10 years being this person. He's like, I don't know what to do. It's been a year and a half. He's just been like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So how do we take people through that loop then? Well, back to micro actions. How do you solve that problem? You try small experiments, right? You try small experiments. Hey, is there anything you think? What, I don't know. Like, what a great time to ask a question that you don't know the answer to. I don't know. What do you think? What have you thought of? Is there anything you've seen that you've thought like, gosh, that'd be interesting? Can we just reconnect somebody to a sense of tailwind? Like, oh, there's a little energy there. And then what do we do? This loop to me should be as tight as possible. You know what? Maybe I'll go have a conversation with John. John, John did something really interesting. Okay, go have a conversation with John. Let me know how that goes. I'd be super curious about it. Boom. Let's reorient after we have this conversation with John. Right? And then we just get to keep walking through this. So I hope you understand where I'm going with this. This, this just emphasize the idea. It's never a straight line. The plan is always blowing up. And I don't mean that negatively. The plan is always blowing up because, and I'm not talking about your financial forecasts or your asset allocation models, which are also always blowing up, but I'm mainly talking about life and how, what kind of an impact do you make? Again, we already talked about the kind of impact you make that can be calculated. What kind of impact do you make that can't be? 